Hello. So, I uh, got a request a few days ago from a guy going by the name of uh, Lord Noob Skills uh, with varying amounts of uppercase and lowercase uh, punctuation type stuff going on. I uh, wanted to see uh, The Baby's Breath, aka the Nine Ball Remake, aka uh, Code Crimson from uh, LR and from, um, uh, from uh, Ninebreaker. I wanted to see him against Klein. Now, the thing is, uh, most of those Klein ACs that he mentioned, there was a long list of them, uh, actually used parts that aren't really even available in Formula Front. Um, there's this kind of weird thing where, you know, some of the parts from Last Raven made it, some of them didn't. Also, if you hear rattling in the background, a little one says hi. Um, but yeah, some of them made it, some of them didn't. It's just kind of a weird limitation. Um, they also have a weird limitation on, you know, who can use what in what team for a team mechanic that never actually made it into the main game. Anyhow. Uh, I already actually already had a uh, Klein AC remade here um, that so far has been doing pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure if he's actually lost any fights yet. Then again, I also kind of completely forgot the Kaiser lost some fights, but oh well. So the Baby's Breath uh, is kind of um, kind of an odd one. Uh, they decided to bring back one of the scariest bosses in a very light frame uh, that mostly just tries to run you out of ammo the whole time. So the, uh, he's only had one actual change done to him, and one that's uh, just more of a callback to Ninebreaker there. So the B3 TPs that he usually uses as his boosters, um, he likes to boost a lot, and well, those were really burning him up super easily without OPI. So I ended up switching him over to the Gulls, which apparently he uses in Ninebreaker, so that one's just fine. And then his grenade launcher, as per usual, has been swapped out for large rockets. Basically same damage, same kind of fire injury trajectory that they usually use, they just lose out a little bit on splash damage and gain a little bit of extra weight space. It, you know, overall in 9 out of 10 scenarios, it'll end up being a pretty close simile. And then for the Aether Master, his back weapons have been swapped out as well, I believe he's got a rocket and multi-missiles. So alright, let's, um, let's see this crap happen. Personally, between the two of them, uh, Code Crimson, or, well, the Baby's Breath is far more evasive, uh, far more defensive. Um, if I were to guess, maybe it would go towards him. Uh, with the Ether Master, it's actually, yeah, multi-missiles and micro-missiles. So the micro-missiles are there to replace his grenade launcher. Um, functionally, the way that he used it was kind of as an overheat weapon, and those ones like to hit and overheat and all that. So in some cases, I do replace them with a 9-shot multi-missiles. Or micro missiles, which I was like to call. All right, so yeah, uh, looks like old uh, nine ball here is getting a little bit overheated. Uh, he's pretty good at recovering with his setup. Again, uh, it's kind of the reason that I wanted to use the gold though, because he would be generating uh, heat all the rest of the time. Uh, with a little bit of tuning towards cooling and uh, oh, that slight uh, booster adjustment, it's just enough to where he pretty much boosts. Uh, whenever he boosts, his, his uh, heat generally just stays where it is. But, uh, anyway. Looks like Klein is winning it so far. As he tends to. Yeah, with Klein, uh, he, also his Moonlight's been swapped out for the Halberd. AKA the, I think it's like the L3 in this one or something. Uh, mostly it's just because of the fact that A, it looks closer to the actual version, and B, um, well, the Moonlight is draining as hell, and the AI does not know how to conserve its energy. So there we are. First one goes to Klein. Next up. There we are. Let's have this go again. Yeah, when I got a request for a red versus blue team kind of thing a while ago, which by the way, I still don't know the logistics of how exactly that would come together, but this is one of the first things that came to mind. Okay. So, NB is getting a bit of an early lead here. Dodging straight into the solo shot, so that's not gonna work out for him. Mm, Alright. Yeah, if he nails it with one of his rockets, uh, he can still 
catch this up. It's not looking like he's gonna win it. I probably shouldn't mention this earlier, but as per usual, this is the standard 3 out of 5 with random maps type thing. Noticing there it makes me want to make a quick change. Let's see if this uh, this helps out a little bit. It seemed like he wasn't too keen on using his EO there. And there we go. A shot. Test match. <laughs> Possibly. Go. Right. I'm noticing him using his EO more, so I'm. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, some with some uh, AI setups, it just suddenly decides it doesn't like to use the EO very much. And it, I believe it's just mostly a range thing in this case, that it's out of the effect of range. Maybe still a little bit spotty on using it. Oh well, uh, he's still got an early lead, so um, you know, there's, there's a chance he might pull this off. Use your EO. What are you doing? Yeah, welcome to the wonderful world of uh, Formula Front's AI. The game based entirely on AI has really buggy AI. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily buggy so much as just there's so much stuff going on that it doesn't really know what to do sometimes. But there we go, we pulled it off anyway. Two to one. I don't know if he can really pull it back, but we'll, you know, we'll give him a chance. Give him a little bit of a chance. And we're back in the desert again. There's big open space for him to get hit repeatedly and dodge straight into shots. As far as their dodging is concerned, you can raise their uh, defensive awareness or defensive strategies, and it'll it'll help them to dodge some things sometimes. Um, they don't exactly see the shot coming half the time anyway. Uh, you can give them the um, uh, the missile awareness chip to make them dodge missiles pretty darn well. Uh, no way, why are you not dodging it? I feel like that. He has that chip so he can dodge pretty well. Some of the time anyway, it's still far from consistent. At least he's not sitting there and taking it. I think this is going pretty solidly to climb here. Um, I will, however, uh, at some point down the road, I will have this guy go fight this uh, remade version of NB that I thought was a little bit more um, fitting to what he does than I called 9B. So it was still a work in progress a little while ago when I was showing it off. But the idea was just to make a super bulky wall of a thing. But... There we go. Unfortunately, he's not beating the clients anytime soon, so the client keeps his roll. And let me know if you have any other requests.